Okay, so in today's math lesson, what we're doing here is we're working on a mean or an average, but we're looking at it in terms of a balancing point, uh, which is kind of neat. It's looking at, uh, I guess, the center of our distribution, but looking at that center of distribution as a, as a, as a scale or a balance. Um, and in our situation here, we have the prices per gallon of gasoline and cents at five different stations across town, uh, and it's shown on the dot plot. Now, what's happening here, we have the price for a sixth grade, uh, the sixth station is missing. But the mean price for all six stations is at 380 cents. So take a look here. It looks like I need to put two more hash marks here. So I have 380 would be my center. Okay. And I'm going to put a triangle just to represent that, that center, that balancing point. So I have my scale, which is kind of cool. All right. So here's how it works. I need to add another dot somewhere. I need to add a little dot somewhere. So there it is. And I think I can be able to move this around. Okay. So I'll be able to move this thing around. And the question is, where does it go? Well, I'm going to put all these other marks in here just so I can see and count a little bit better here. There we go. And there's that one down here. So if this is my center of distribution, okay, or my center of balance, what I need to happen is I need the distance to the right and the distance to the left of all those values to be equal. All right, so I need an equal distance. And that equal distance will create my balance. Now, it looks like I have two 384s. Now, from my balance part spot right here, 384 is four away, but I have two of them there, right? So we have one, two, three, four away, but I do have two of them, so I have a four plus a four, okay? Remember, it's not from zero, it's from this balancing spot. You have to kind of pretend that the 380 mark, that mean, that average, is zero, I suppose. So the other guy, I have one out here, this guy is 10 away. He has a distance of 10. So if I added all those guys together, my two fours and my 10, I get an 18. Now there's my balancing area on the right. So for everything to be completely balanced, I need my total on this side to be 18 as well. So let's see what we have. Let's check this guy. So from my 380, it's getting a little sloppy here. I have one, two, three, four, five. So that's a five. I have now I have this guy out here. And this guy is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Eleven? Oh, eleven. I think I miscounted. I, I forgot to put it. No, no, it's at ten. I'm right. It's at ten. Okay. So if he's at ten and this guy's at five, if I add those two together, I get fifteen but I want 18, which means I need to put my dot to the left of my balancing point three spots from the 380. So from the 380, here's my spot here, so one, two, three. And if I put him right there, that gives me a distance of three from my balancing point uh, for a combined 18. All right. And that's kind of what we worked on today. This is It's a neat concept. Um, I was looking at grades with kids. We were talking about grades. Let's say you wanted to maintain a 90 average and 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. Let's say on the first test you got um, uh, two points less. You got an 88. And that's a two-point distance from 90. And let's say uh, the next test you got an 89. Okay, which means that's another point away. So you're a total of three away from 90, which means your next test to get a 90 average or to receive or have a mean of 90, you're going to need three points on this side. So one, two, three, which means you need a 93 because that's three points from 90. And then you'll have your average of 90. All right, so cool concept. Another way of taking a look at mean or an average and uh, cool. All right. Thanks so much, gang. Take care. Bye-bye.